The hike in electricity tariff is one of the hottest topics of discussion in Nigeria at this time. The Minister of Power, Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, has described the increase, which is within the range of 45%, as a painful pill, and he appeals to consumers to swallow it. But it seems it's too hard to swallow, as the country recorded a series of protests in various states against the hike, and Channels Beam cannot help but discuss this issue on this episode. It's Channels Beam, and I'm Amini Thompson. But first, the trending topics for the past week. Nigerians took to the streets to protest the federal government's decision to increase electricity tariff with effect from February the 1st, 2016. Olajimoke, the street hawker, became a social media sensation after a chance meeting with celebrity photographer T.Y. Bello, who was shooting. So now let's go to the topic we're discussing on this episode of Channels. Remember, that's the increase in electricity tariff in Nigeria. Well, earlier last week, there were a series of protests by various labor groups, and some Nigerians are in support of it, some are not. Well, let's get the real views of Nigerians on Hangouts. People shouldn't actually see this as... Uh, if you want electricity, you pay more. I don't see it from that perspective. I think the minister uh, himself, Mr. Fashola, is someone I just have this belief on. I just feel we can trust him. He can deliver. I just feel he can get things done because he, he has done it before. And uh, I just have this sense of humor that he can drive this in a, towards a positive way. Increase in electricity tariff. Like he explained, they need to raise more funds to get this electricity to the end users. So, in my own opinion, I feel maybe the people should give him at least one year trial to know what they can actually do with this increase in a year. But in the meantime, I think the, the, the minister himself, they have to do something about the prepaid uh, meter get these meters disbursed to the people out there, make sure they have the meter and stop uh, imposing unnecessary bill on them. So if the meters are there, I think it's, they're heading towards the right direction and um, it's, it seems like a man they can actually trust. We may need to pay for it, we may need to make some sacrifices, but in the long run, if it is run the way it should be, if the funds are used for what they are supposed to be used for, then I think it's going to be a good. Um, uh, if, if it is going to have a good outcome eventually, it's going to be for the betterment of everyone and the country at large. I feel it's okay, even though it's it's gone a little bit um, too high, but um, having to move the fixed charges is something um, we've all um, been passed for, and um, we are glad to see the, um, the fixed charges going. But aside that, five percent increase. I think it's, uh, it's on the high side. It all depends on which disk we are connected to. Like we who are in Accra Bomb State, we're connected to the PHED, that's uh, the Total Cost Electricity Distribution. And um, we're formerly on 15.09 uh, kilowatts and have now gone to about 24 naira or so. I'm not, not um, 
knowledgeable on the exact figures. But um, if you ask me, I would say it's a good move that we don't have the fixed charges anymore. However, between 15 to 24 naira is too high. What I'm thinking about um, when I have the news is here is another measure. And I'm kind of worried whether we are ever going to get any good results. We've had several measures that have been introduced in the past several years, if not decades, all aimed at improving energy supply to customers, to the citizens. And I'm not sure this is going to produce any different effect, any different result. But also, I'm worried at the rates of that hike. 45% is really, really absurd. It's too much. Um, if they could have started somewhere around, say, 10%, 15%, and maybe we we'll start seeing a little result, then maybe citizens will find it necessary to, to comply when the tariff is hiked further. Do I see it working? I see it like every other thing that has been promised. But we're hopeful. The thing is, I would have loved them to like show some, let's see, maybe they can do something. Let's see that it can work before going on the hike. Because now, okay, there's a hike, and then nothing happens. We start paying the bills. Like, as usual, we still don't see the lights. What, what do we do? They can't bring it back. Now, now the, the, the first thing that the government should know is over time, people have lost confidence relates to um, the part of the cable electricity ever in my life. All I hear is stories from my parents saying once upon a time in this country that uh, before they switch off power, that they make announcements and all of that. That's that story, and that looks like a utopia to me. You know, but now people have lost confidence in government. And the opportunity the new administration has is to win back the confidence of people. And the wrong way to start is to hike tariff at 45%. Because there's really, you're just promising me, the promise is empty. Now, this is not the first time we're experiencing hike in, in, in power tariff. This is not the first time. But what did we experience before? Was it better? No, it's not better. But as it is, it looks like we have no choice. The people have no choice. We just have to comply. And that's why NLC and all of those other people you know, are going on um, the different walks, you know, trying to persuade the government just to let them see why this um, um, should be better managed. You know, from all the explanations about um, what it takes to generate to distribute and all of that, the analysis is okay and perfect. Yes, funding is needed to drive this. But what we are saying is, as much as funding is needed to drive this, one, we've lost confidence. Two, it looks like the masses, we have no choice, we just dumped that thing on us, and so we start to pay. What we are saying is that, please, be more masses friendly. Please, 45% is way too much. Increase it a little bit. Let us enjoy the benefit. Interesting discussion going on there with Patrick Ghaniad. Dr. Austin Pere, well, Nigerians are represented from all parts of the world, but we'll just take a break and we'll be back to conclude Hangouts.